Okay, let's talk about how to multiply fractions. And this is definitely something that you need to know if you're at the sixth grade level or beyond. Now, fractions is a huge topic in all levels of mathematics. Even in elementary school, you start learning basic concepts of fractions. But when you're in middle school, you definitely need to know how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide fractions along with other things. And uh, the easiest thing to do when it comes to fractions by far is to multiply fractions, okay? So if I would have to uh, kind of classify this or order these things in terms of difficulties, the easiest thing to do is to multiply fractions. The second easiest thing to do is to divide fractions. And then adding and subtracting fractions, this is also not that difficult, but this is where you have to deal with the LCD. And this is typically where students just like, oh, they just, you know, uh, fall apart. They hate fractions. They don't want to deal with fractions. I get that. Way back in the good old days when I was in middle school, elementary school, probably even high school, I didn't like dealing with fractions either. But you need to know how to work with fractions. They are everywhere in mathematics at all levels. So let's go ahead and review how to multiply fractions. Super easy. But we'll take a look at a couple of variations and some additional um, points that I want to make. Uh, that are related uh, uh, to um, multiplying fractions, some other things that we need to be thinking about as well. But we're going to get into all this in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades. And I'm telling you right now, if you're struggling in mathematics, there is hope. So don't give up. To be successful in mathematics, the main thing you need is great math instruction. Hopefully you got an excellent math teacher, but if you need additional help in math, I can help you out with clear, understandable, comprehensive math instruction for those of you who are at the middle school, high school, or even college level. Check out my math help program. You can find a link to it in the description of this video. I promise you it will help you out big time in your respective studies. Now, if you happen to be preparing for some sort of test that has a dedicated math section, there's a lot of them, Things like the GED, SAT, ASVAB, ACT, GRE, GMAT, maybe a teacher certification exam, I can help you out. If you homeschool, I have excellent homeschool math courses for middle and high school uh, mathematics. If you need a pair of math notes, I'm going to leave links to my math notes in the description of this video. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to help me out by liking and subscribing uh, to my channel. That would be much appreciated. So now let's get into how to multiply fractions. And if you want to play along, go ahead and tell me the answer if you know um, how to multiply two-fifths times one-thirds. Of course, I'm going to uh, cover this here in just one second. I'll put the answer to that in the comment section. But here's the deal. Don't guess, okay? Now, you, if you have to take a guess, that's fine. But that's the thing with fractions. Students confuse, um, you know, how to multiply and divide, add and subtract. They'll be like, oh, yeah, I think I do this. You don't want to be thinking anything. You just want to be absolutely positive on how to do these operations. So let's get into it right now. And we'll actually do this problem here, okay? One half times four thirds. So how do you multiply fractions? Well, here is the deal. It is super easy. What you're going to do is you're going to re uh, multiply the respective numerators. The numerator is the top number. Okay, so basically you're just going to multiply across. So here we have one half times four thirds. The numerators is one and four. So we're going to multiply across. That would be our numerator. And then our denominator, we're just going to multiply the respective denominators or the bottom numbers. So two times three is going to be two times three. That's going to be our answer for our denominator. Um, and one times four will be our answer for our numerator. So when we're finding the product of one half times four thirds, all we do is simply multiply across. And now let's go ahead and figure this out. So one times four is of course four, two times three is six, but here is the deal. Okay. You never uh, just multiply uh, fractions together and just stop. You always need to ask yourself, is your fraction fully simplified? Is it reduced 100%? If you left your answer uh, just like this, a lot of math teachers will take points off as they should because you need to know how to simplify and reduce. That, of course, that's a, a separate discussion, but 4, 6 is equal to, uh, or can be reduced to the fraction 2 thirds. So always leave your answer in its most simplified manner. Now let's take a look at the same problem and talk about how you can kind of reduce or simplify uh, your answer as you do your multiplication. So 
Here we go. We got one half times four thirds. I already talked about uh, to multiply fractions, you're going to multiply the respective numerators and denominators. So here, this is going to be one times four. Okay. Uh, and then our denominator will be two times three. Now you can see I'm doing something right here. And what I'm doing is called cross canceling. Okay. Now let me show you exactly what's going on. Okay. So four, all right, we can think of four as two times two. Okay. That is four. And uh, all these things, all these numbers are being separated by multiplication. That means that these are factors, okay? So in math, when you have a like factor, in other words, you have the same factor in the numerator. So in this case, 4 is 2 times 2. There's a 2 factor up in the numerator, but I also have a 2 down here in the denominator. When you have like factors, 1 to 1, Okay, between the numerator and denominator, you can do something called cross cancel. So basically, this two can divide into that two, and that goes away. And now let's take a look at what's left. Okay, what's left is one times this two, one times two is two, and then uh, this right here is really just a one, but just one times three, so that is two thirds, and that is our final answer. So you can kind of reduce by uh, cross canceling as you go. So let me show you this. Uh, kind of again one last time So here it is one half times four thirds. It's one times four right there So what you're thinking is oh two goes into that four two Okay, that's another way to cross cancel So now I have one times two is two and then right here anytime you cross cancel You're really just leaving a one behind so one times three is three So there is our reduced answer or if you're more comfortable, you can just get your final answer and reduce it this way as well. But you do need to reduce or simplify those fractions. Okay, so again, uh, multiplying fractions, not that difficult. But let's take a look at some other situations that you're going to be facing. And uh, we'll start talking about mixed numbers. So this is a mixed number, okay, because it, it's a whole number with some sort of fraction. So it's like 3 and 1 half, we classify this as a mixed number. Matter of fact, let's just do a quick view. This is a mixed number fraction. A fraction like 3 fifths is a proper fraction because the, den the denominator, that bottom number, is larger than the numerator. So this is a proper fraction. And then if the numerator, that top number, is bigger than the bottom number, this is called an M improper fraction fraction. Okay, so you do need to be familiar with these terms. So we can convert um, uh, mixed number fractions into improper fractions, and you need to know how to do that. And matter of fact, we're going to um, uh, discuss that right now. So when we want to multiply two fractions, and one of those fractions is a mixed number fraction, one or both, okay, you need to convert um, all mixed number fractions into improper fractions. So let's do this now. So how do I do that? Well, you take this two, you multiply by that three. So two times three is six plus one. Okay, so six plus one is seven over that little uh, denominator right there. So that's seven halves. Okay, so if you um, need additional help on fractions, how to com how to write mixed number fractions as improper fractions, I have additional videos on this. I teach all of this in my pre-algebra course and my math foundation course. You can um, check those out by just going to my math help program. Uh, but let's go ahead and keep this problem going. So the first thing you're going to do, anytime you're multiplying um, uh, fractions and one of the one or more of the fractions is a mixed number, is you got to convert that into an in uh, improper fraction. So that's going to be seven halves times our uh, three fifths. So now we have one numerator, one denominator, one numerator, one denominator. And at this point, we're good to go to go ahead and actually multiply the respective numerators and denominators. So seven times three, always write your factors out like this. And I'm going to show you why here in a second. So seven times three, just don't answer that. Going to be like, oh, seven times three is 21. Show your work for your teacher, but there's another reason here in a second. I'm going to show you. Of course, two times five is 10, but you write it. You want to write it like this because here I have seven times three and two times five. The reason why you want to write out your um, all your factors here is because you want to look for opportunities for cross canceling, so you can make sure that this fraction here is fully simplified. So two can't go into three, five can't go into seven. So 
these all these numbers here are prime so this answer is fully simplified now one thing that uh, we just did here is we took a mixed number and we wrote it as an improper fraction okay we went from a mixed number to improper fraction but you can also go from an improper fraction to a mixed number you need to know how to do that and the way that's done is you simply take your numerator okay if you if we're dealing with an improper fraction we take our numerator and we can divide it by the denominator so 21 divided by 10 is going to be of course 10 goes into 21 2 so 2 times 10 is 20 so that's a remainder 1 and then we're going to put that over this number here 10 so 21 tenths is the same thing as 2 and 1 tenths now i'm going to give you a really really good piece of advice right here that will save you a lot of points on quizzes and tests if you did this problem correct and a final answer is 21 tenths and it's fully simplified do not convert this into a mixed number fraction unless you are told to on by your teacher or the quiz or test exams okay don't uh, take the initiative and do the extra work because there's two reasons why one it's going to take you time to go, uh, write 21 tenths as a mixed number two and one tenths it's going to take you additional time on your test or quiz and two i've seen thousands upon thousands of errors where the student actually had the right answer but then you went to go do this division and then they messed this up they write like two and one eighth or they make some sort of mistake and then they turn this answer in and then you got to mark it down and then there's a lot of like you know sad faces with tears and everything else and nobody likes that so here's the deal okay unless you're told to again write your uh, final answer as a mixed number fraction do not do it however you do need to make sure you all your um, answers when it comes to fractions whether you're adding subtracting multiplying dividing are fully simplified okay so let's go ahead and take a look at one more situation and uh, this is just uh, more review with mixed numbers so here we have five and one half times two and one thirds again we can't multiply uh, mixed in mixed number form so we want to go ahead and change those into improper fractions so here this would be 2 times 5 is 10 plus 1 that's going to be 11 or 11 halves here this would be 3 times 2 is 6 plus 1 is 7 or 7 thirds so now I want to go ahead and do the problem 11 halves times 7 thirds so here it is 11 halves times 7 thirds again I'm going to multiply the respective numerators and denominators so 11 times 7 I'm going to write the factors out this way 2 times 3 is like um, is two times three and I'm looking for opportunities to cross cancel again these are all prime numbers so let me go ahead and do the actual uh, multiplication 11 times 7 is 77 and 2 times 3 is 6 and I can be 100% confident that that answer is fully simplified again um, you don't have to question whether this answer is fully simplified if you kind of uh, took a look at um, the factors and you try to look for opportunities to cross cancel okay so that really really helps you out kind of like doing the work in advance and then you can just be fully confident that your answer is correct okay so we just covered how to multiply fractions how did you do if you knew all this stuff and you're like this was just total review i must give you a nice little happy face in a plus a 100 percent and multiple stars so you can have a wonderful day nice job okay but again remember let's kind of go back up here in, uh, from the very beginning the easiest thing to do to kind of learn about fractions in my opinion is how to multiply okay now you can't divide fractions unless you understand how to multiply fractions so if you're kind of reviewing fractions start with multiplication then move on to division um, what you're going to do with division of multiplication I'm sorry division problems of fractions excuse me is you're going to convert division problems into multiplication problems so all this right here is really just multiplication and you're talking about two of the four primary operations that we do in mathematics when it comes to fractions is super easy okay multiplying and dividing fractions easy 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 but when it comes to addition and subtraction this is where students kind of like panic because they're like oh no i got to find the lcd well you got to check out some of my videos on fractions as a matter of fact um i have a, a one or two uh maybe even more than that 
uh, videos that have uh, over a million views on fractions because people are looking for little shortcuts on how to add and subtract. And there is an awesome little hack and technique on how to add and subtract fractions. So make sure you follow through on that. And uh, again, if you need more formal review and instruction on fractions, two courses to check out in my Math Help program, my Math Foundations course and my Pre-Algebra course. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.